Titan Comics publicity department was kind enough to send me a copy of their latest crime thriller, Noir Burlesque. Enrico Marini, who you may know from his work on Batman, created, wrote, and even did the art for this gorgeously stylized throwback to the hard-boiled gangster stories. When a robbery goes wrong, Slick has to make it up to Rex, a gangster with a serious Napoleon complex. It doesn't help Slick's attitude that Rex is engaged to Caprice, Slick's former flame who is now a legendary burlesque dancer. When Slick met Caprice, she was a call girl. The two had big plans to change their lives and build a new one together. But then Slick had to go off and fight in World War II. Caprice did what she had to do to survive. Now that Slick is back in her life, she does her part to complicate the already complicated situation between Slick and Rex. That's a lot to unfold. The story starts with all these pieces already in motion. When I first started reading it, I was constantly playing catch up. I felt like I had to fill in the back parts of the story to figure out who these characters were. All these pieces began to look like a whole and I realized I couldn't put the book down. Marini knows that starting a story already in progress is a good way to keep the readers turning those pages. There's something about the noir genre. Whether you're on the side of the cops or the criminals, there's this great look, lingo, and atmosphere. Noir burlesque is set in the 50s, which goes that much farther to nailing down the genre. Marini's art is also done in the style of an old noir film, with a more modern twist. The art looks painted onto each page. There's a texture to the inking and the coloring, and the art isn't quite black and white with the grays in between. There's this subtle, maybe it's a sepia tone over everything, which goes, again, one step further into creating that throwback feel. The use of space on the pages is phenomenal. Massive double spreads show the scale and scope, and the smaller panels make things feel more intimate and personal. These two opposing views are often combined to create pages you don't simply read and move on from. They force you to pause and appreciate all the subtleties in the art. Marini also adds a cherry on top of the already incredible art. Splashes of orange-red appear throughout the comic, namely Caprice's hair. Having Caprice have this one element that makes her stand out even further makes it feel like the world is revolving around her. And since these two dangerous men have her in the middle of a proverbial tug of war, it basically does. Caprice isn't your typical damsel in distress, however. While she is something of a victim given the time and the world that she belongs in, she has had to make choices she didn't love to survive. However, she always seems to have her own thing going. She uses her brains and her beauty to keep her cards close to her chest as she makes her own moves. Initially, I started reading Noir Burlesque as a digital copy. I was reading it on my 10-inch Kindle Fire, so the screen size was adequate. And then Titan Comics surprised me with a hardcover physical copy. I flipped through it, and the artwork that looked good on digital looked incredible on the high-gloss printed pages. Despite being halfway through the story, I started over just to appreciate the look and feel of the book. At an impressive 221 pages, I read the entire thing in a single sitting. As far as the story goes, I had some initial bumps in the road as I was trying to get a grip on who everybody was and what the connections were, but as I got more familiar with the characters, I was able to enjoy the story more and more. The dynamic between Slick and Caprice was the most compelling part of it, even with the organized crime angle in the background. It doesn't hurt that Marini made Caprice something fantastic to look at. The majority of my comic reading has been superheroes and Star Wars. Having a crime thriller grab me like this has really opened my eyes to a whole section of the comic world that I've been missing. Titan Comics Noir Burlesque is a great read with gorgeous art. Enrico Marini clearly put a lot into this stellar book. Noir Burlesque is available now wherever you get your comics. It's good on digital, but great in print. For those who have been following my videos for some time, you'll realize we're in a different location. My office is a mess right now, so I decided to do it here in my Star Wars room, which is kind of a sneak peek at a big project I have coming next year.